another huge round of urc rugby each round's getting better and better bigger and bigger more quality better tries fantastic rugby i got eight out of eight this round round three's predictions so you could probably you could pretty much say i know my rugby beautiful rugby nonetheless and man it's just the, the the standard of this like Yes, a ton of tries, which means probably not the best defense, but as a spectator's point of view, just watching this exciting brand of rugby being played across the board, it's lovely to watch and great for the URC competition as a whole. Huge moments of the round, we're going to get into that, tries of the round, it's all in here. As always, let me know in the comments, what did you guys think of the games? of the rounds, who impressed you the most? How did your fantasy go? Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe while you're there. Let's get into it. So as always, we'll start off with moments of the round. I pick three, you let me know what you guys think of it. Did I miss any? Yeah, that's how it goes. Let's get into it. First moment of the round, Jacob Stockdale's try for Ulster versus the Bulls. Solo effort down the touchline. The gas, the chip over the top, the collect again. And that's a Jacob Stockdale of old. The vintage Jacob Stockdale loves a try down the touchline, chip over the last defender, collect again, and score. Beautiful, beautiful solo effort there. Second, Rabs McTwane. From the Lions, the winger, elusive, fast, scored his hat-trick. Oh, man, off the back of beautiful play from the Lions. They went out to a massive lead at halftime, a 48 to zip. But Rabs, Maxwane, man, elusive, fast, quick, just out and out. Try scoring ability of this man is through the roof and scored three of the absolute best. And number three, my last moment or third moment of the round was the Sharks to come back from behind to score in the 84th minute to win. How big is that? A huge effort from them away from home in the 84th minute, scoring under the post to clinch that win. And that wraps up my three moments of the round. Let me know what you guys thought of that. What do you think was your moment of the round? Did I miss some? Let me know in the comments. And let's get to... Quick recap of round three. So round three kicked off with a huge game, Glasgow versus Carter, 53 to 36. Look, defense on this game was an option. An option not taken by most, but still beautiful scoring, running rugby, tries galore. Jamie Dobby with another beautiful try, same as last week, just his nippiness around the ruck. As a scrum off, you really want you want that, or as a team, you want that from your scrum off, the ability to pick up from the ruck and dart through. Whenever he sees half a gap, he busts straight through there. He was really good for Glasgow. Really end-to-end -end stuff. I thought um, Toy Cerny, Toy Polotu's try, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, woeful defense, but he still had to bust through and break about three or four tackles, um, and really, really great try. There's, there's, there's whispers around the British and Irish Lion, Lions camp that he could potentially be the starting 12. And tell you what, I'm in on that. I don't mind that at all. He's been fantastic. Every opportunity he gets for Glasgow and for Scotland, really, really good. And molding into that perfect 12, he's got his distribution. He's got the ability to beat a person one-on-one. -on -one. His defense is really good. His first phase set up, so getting over that vantage line, also fantastic. And that distribution he has at 12, really, really good as well. Um, great for my fantasy. Got to get those fantasy points in there too. I thought Tom Jordan played really well for Glasgow as well. Uh, tries, try assist, kicking his conversions. A uh, really good game from the young fella. Scarlet's 23, Connacht 24, a nail biter. Um, Bundy Aki with his return to play, copped the yellow card for a high tackle, not a, not the best high tackle there, not the best start to his season, um, but good to see him back nonetheless. Mac Hansen with a beautiful try off a Carty cross kick. Tell you what, the cross kicks have made a resurgence. That many tries of cross kicks this weekend, 
Um, it just shows how players are starting to read the opposition's defense, where wingers are really biting in and leaving that space out the back there because there was a few in the Bulls game. There's obviously a few in this game as well and just across round three and we will see going into this the rest of the season just a ton of cross kicks just boom 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 and i'm loving it good away win there for connacht then we move over to lions versus edinburgh 48 nil at half time the lions were that is why the biggest score at half time ever in the uic history full-time score 55 to 21 Man, this Lions team is about to be a proper handful going into the rest of the season. At least while they're playing at home at that altitude, that Johannesburg heat really causing troubles for opposition. But man, just their finishing ability they have in the back line. Edwell van Amervenel back, he grabbed the double. Rabs Motswane on the other wing, he got his hat trick. Quinn Horn at back and fullback, he scored a try as well. But just those guys, they have their finishing ability that those guys have. But then they also they just their ability to back themselves, man, or just their that instinct they have to back themselves. Whoever the head or the backline coach is, they or their attack coach. Hats off to you, man, because he's obviously just told these guys, whatever thing you see, any opportunity you see, back yourself, man. And then these guys have the ability to execute those plays. Um, obviously, you've got guys like Cade Wallater at fly off. Um, calling the shots, kicking his conversions as well, and really playing well with ball in hand. Um, and then guys like Frankie Horn and JC Pretorius in the forwards that are just, and it's like playing with an extra backline player, but then they've got that ability to, to run over the top of you, to hit those rocks, to make all those tackles as well. So this Lions team, watch out, watch out. They go 2-0 and to start the season. Um, Bulls versus Ulster, 47 to 21. 13 Springboks in the Bulls start or 23 match day squad. And it's always going to be a tough ass for Ulster. We talk about Stockdale's try. It was in my moment of the round, man. Just that solo effort from past halfway. Gets around Kirtley Oranta and then chips over the top of Vili Leroux. Get out of here. What a try. Um, I thought David Creel also scored an absolute worldie. The cross kick from Vili Leroux to Buta Chamberlain. It looks like they swapped positions. Vili Leroux was at fly off, cross kick to Buta, Ch Buta Chamberlain, who grabbed it on the edge there, was playing it fullback at this turn. Gave it inside to Creel, and Creel scored a beautiful try. I thought Hanukom, so Cameron Hanukom and Elrich Lowe were really good as well. And just a huge performance from the Bulls. Um, cl clinical. Clinical, and they go 2-0 and as well to start the season. Benetton versus Leinster, 35-5. Great performance from Leinster. Arches Neyman gets his debut, long-awaited debut. Frawley with a beautiful try as well. Just great option-taking, breaking through the middle of that support play as well, um, and then just having those support guys. Whenever the ball carrier has a break, um, he's got two or three options inside and outside him um, to make a play there and a beautiful finish. Jack Conan carrying on with his form throughout the season. I think he scored a try in each game, if I'm not mistaken. He's played really well. Obviously now with Kalen Doris coming back, he's moved to the side of the scrum. And then you've got so Conan, Van der Fleer and Kalen Doris. That is a triple threat if you ever wanted one. I thought um, Jamison Gibson Park was fantastic again. Just one of the best at just his service and his option taking off nine, um, directing that team around the park. And Leinster just going to be a prop, just a handful this season. They go 3-0 and to start the season, top of the log. Um, really good performance there from Leinster. Dragons versus Sharks. Sharks with a late try in the 84th minute to win it. How Good. Rodri Davis with a beautiful try for Dragons. I feel like they've been a little bit of a surprise package. A lot of people, teams would have been coming into this, into these fixtures, sort of thinking, oh, now nah, we'll win it. They won in overtime over Ospreys, a late try to win it. Dragons did, and they've taken the Sharks right till the 84th minute as well. Um, shows a lot, talks a lot, speaks volumes of this Dragon side and what kind of culture and how that team is playing for each other. 
Jaden Hendricks's try, I thought was a worldy, just beautiful interplay from the Sharks' backline down the touchline. Uh, Lorenzo Yulis down the little step, plays hooker, hooker inside to Estres and Estres and is inside to hooker, and then hooker played Hendricks to go under the post, untouched. Uh, beautiful interplay there, and a good win for Sharks away from home. Then Munster versus Ospreys, 23 to zip in the worst conditions. The rain was coming sideways. Um, quickest try in URC history. I think it was 13 seconds. Shea McCarthy off the kickoff. Ospreys player coughs it up and he jumps over to score. 13 seconds from kickoff. That is wild. Uh, Munster favourites to win it, yeah, and did just that. Rain coming in sideways and they did well. The Jack O'Donoghue scored a fantastic try. Set play off the ruck, support play from there and went over to score. Good result in those in that conditions. A great result for Munster. And then last game of the round, Zebra versus Stormers. 36-5 win for the Stormers. Can we talk about that NFL style play off the line out? Is for Leon, Leon Zuss's first try? Line out, get the line out. Eighthman takes the ball off the back of the line out, hugging it like, like NFL. The cameraman went that way. They played it inside, or he didn't even have the ball. Paul DeVette went off the back of the ball inside, and Zas scored under the post. Man, that kept, caught everyone out, cameraman included. Beautiful set play there. I thought Yuri Matia was really good, kicked well off the tee, directed the team around the park. Lovely. Um, and set. Storm was up for their first win of the season. Another huge round of URC rugby. Oh, let me know how you guys, how did your team go? What did you think of the round? Who stood out for you? Who didn't? Man, this URC season is shaping up to be one of the best yet. Quality rugby. I'm loving it so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of round three. Hit that subscribe while you're there. I'll see you next time. Bye.